All right, welcome everybody on YouTube and everybody here in Twitch chat. Hey, what's up, Intellibeam? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try Bant Value again. We played this uh, for the first time a couple days ago, and we went 5-1. We played against uh, Is It Drakes three times. That was a matchup that I was a little worried about, but we went 2-1 and one with it, and then our deck felt pretty good with the other ones. I'm keeping the same 75 for, for another league because, you know, like that's only just, just five matches and three of them in like the same matchup. Um, so I want to kind of try it out a little bit more. Um, but I remember through that league, uh, the cards of like Bugler, Ajani, and Biogenicus weren't necessarily amazing in that in that league. But of course, a lot of that's against is it Drakes, where these ground creatures aren't you know going to be as impactful. Um, Ajani certainly a card that that may uh, not need to be in here. Um, same with Growth Chamber Guardian. Growth Chamber Guardian wasn't very impressive, and we're thinking about maybe this needs to turn into the Explore package with Branch Walker, Wild Growth Walker kind of thing. Um, but, you know, that takes up even more slots. So I want to try it again, though, because, um, you know, like we're, we're testing out how things uh, kind of work. Um, Soltai is starting to be a, a really, really popular deck, and I could certainly see playing some Settle the Wreckages, like in the sideboard for that matchup. Uh, so that's that's something that I think I'd like to have access to. But um, there's nothing I really want to cut right now for that. So I want to, again, I want to just kind of play another league with uh, the 75 and see how it feels. So let's go ahead and get started. Band value. There you are. I have not tried climbing this deck. No, this is only, this is my second time uh, playing this version with basically like the shell of this deck is or the core. The core of this deck is Militia Bugler with Biogenicus and Hydroid Crisis. Uh, that's like the core of this band deck. Um, but I, I have not tried Hedonis Climb yet with it. Yeah, the Esper Midrange deck. I'm honestly not too impressed with it. We we played against it last night, and to be fair, our opponent didn't draw well. They had they had bad hands, but it it didn't look the deck looked really bad. But you know our opponent had bad hands. But I feel like that I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of kind of underpowered cards in that kind of deck where if if your draws don't come together, you'll have a lot of hands that are not very good kind of thing. There's not a whole lot of card advantage and stuff like that. But yeah. Um, I can certainly see like the power of, you know, and I see the power of a lot of the different cards, but. Uh, hmm. All right, so we play Druid and don't take any damage or we take two and cast Jade Light. If we, if we play Jade Light this turn, we're just never, uh, we're basically just never playing that druid. The big problem is if they do this. If they have end step, destroy my creature, then untap chain whirler. Alright, no chain whirler. That's good. Hey guys, enough. Good evening. All right, we got five mana. I think it's probably time for Biogenicus. Want to have the roadblock in play. So many coils. Um, yeah, they're playing a lot of coils, it looks like. Not sure Let's exactly what I'm looking worthy. for.
I'm gonna take the land. I guess Hydroicrasis is what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for, Hydroicrasis. Love their attacking Vivian. They can attack Vivian now all day. We're getting started. Come to me. Hmm. Hey, Yudin. We go was was pretty good. We. Um, yeah. I honestly don't, I don't care if they use a burn spell on Growth Chamber Guardian. Um, I am, you know, I'm perfectly happy with burn spells being used on these creatures and not me, you know, because with Vivians, we, we can get more creatures, you know, <laughs> that creatures aren't, aren't uh, a problem for us. We can have uh, a lot of, we can get a lot of creatures. It's burn spells going upstairs would be a problem. Hey, Dan from Brazil. Uh, but what do I think about Gruel decks? Um... I think it's still still taking time to to kind of hash them out. I, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff in Gruel. Um, honestly, like you get to the the lower creatures with uh, your lower green creatures, rekindling Phoenix and Hellkite in red with Lava Coil and stuff like that. You have you have a lot of good stuff in Gruel. Hey, we duck. Don't know what's going on here. All right, won the tournament. Way to go, Grayson. Went five and one with John. Awesome. Good job. I guess their opponent just disconnects. So it looks like. Looks like we have a disconnected opponent. My newest friend. High fives. I will lend you my strength. All right, we got Shalai, Lyra, Seal Away, and Binding, and a Knight of Autumns. So we have we have a lot for our red matchup. Um, a Johnny comes out. Vivian cutting down to one, maybe zero. We have Night of Autumn and Binding still for the, for like an experimental frenzy. Uh, if I go down to zero, Vivian. Um, um, I guess Bugler is worse. Like if I if I cut like two drops, let's cut two ooze, three bugler because I'm bringing in a whole lot of spells the bugler doesn't hit. Seal away binding, Shalai Lyra. But then again, I I did cut a lot of cards that it did hit. 
that didn't, sorry, that it didn't hit as well. And we also have Knight of Autumn, which is a really good hit with Bugler. Hmm. Let's go with this. One Ooze, one Vivian, two Buglers. Yeah, but Ooze usually, you know, leaves behind two bodies. You know, like they, you know, they bolt the one. Like the, that happened the last game. They have a, a they used to skewer the critics on on one ooze, but then the other ooze was still checking their creature. But yeah, it was kind of slow. Growth chamber guardian, two drop that dies pretty easily. Not a great two drop. It's not a great great two drop to play on turn two. Um, Jade Light Ranger, on the other hand, it's a good time to play it um, because like. Like, if we play, like, the Bugler and stop them from attacking, then they have the Firebrand up that kills, like, a Jade Light, for example. Um, certainly want a land next turn. We don't really have anything that helps us hit a land drop, though. If I play Knight of Autumn and gain four life, they kill it with Firebrand. Always crisis. Yeah, I should probably just be crisis. I wanted to take land war elf. I'm just gonna trade with the firebrand now. With it. But yeah, it 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 is just crisis. All right, we got lucky. We drew the land. Dawnbringer in play. And that was a pretty easy win. Opponent didn't have a whole lot to do. They didn't do very much. Hey, Mass. Yeah, the crisis was too much. <laughs> crisis did too much there. All right, hopefully all of the rest of the games are that easy. We're on the draw. Hmm. So close to Mardu Angels, just need a few more rares. Ah. Uh. You can get there. Keep on grinding. Yeah, I, I certainly underrated Crisis during the preview season. Come on, lands. Okay. You know that feeling whenever you need to you keep a two lander on the draw and you just want to draw some lands and you draw five drop, five drop? That's a pretty good one. Wow.
Five drop, five drop, six drop. At least our opponent doesn't know our deck too well. Like, it looks like we may just only play Militia Buglers and Land War Elves this game. Not a chupacabra. We're not in the worst spot. Not in the worst spot here. You know, Vivian can kill the Krasis. Bugler trades with Branchwalker. Not doing so bad. Both of us have six cards in hand. I could see a, a find getting back Branch Walker and Reaper, um, but I'm fine with that. I, I don't really want a finality. Yeah, YouTube channel is going, going well. All the videos are up there. I put them up each time. I just ooze. Get some blockers. Um, yeah, we are now partnered on the YouTube channel. Yesterday was the first day for me to earn revenue. Earned one dollar, so that's awesome. We're getting there. Yeah, Mario Angels certainly has a chance to be top tier. I think. Yeah, I, I think this is a this is an important matchup uh, for Mardu Angels. I haven't played too much against this. Yeah, this is yeah we're playing twenty five lands. This is really unfortunate mana scenario. We're still at three and we're. Down to 43 cards in the library. Vivian's gonna have to kill this Krasis, though. I just don't have an answer to the Wild Growth Walker now. We're just so far behind. Hmm. Wild animals. Sometimes restoration means retribution. So he wanted to wait on fine finality until the Krasis died so they could get Krasis back. If we get another land next turn. Uh, we do get to Krasis for five. And we have a Johnny that can make our Krasis bigger. Oh, maybe I should have just Krasis for four there. I don't know. Finality kind of kills me. Like, if I Krasis for four, 
It just makes finality a whole lot better for them. I want them to cast find and not finality. Hey, Mackleseth. Defeat is a new beginning. Start of extinctions back in the metagame. Yep. Yeah, it's a really good card. Hmm. Sell the wreckage would be a nice card to have answer to have access to. All right, so. I don't need this Knight of Autumn at all. Um, <laughs> why'd you block there? It was lethal. Well, that's a good reason to block. <laughs> yeah, we were at four and they were attacking for four. Um, Shalai is like a spell sky in this matchup. It kind of is. It it does uh, get Vivian reeded. That's kind of all of our cards. I could certainly play a negate for a fine finality contempt. Um, Vivian reed. Kind of like a negate. Yeah. Disdainful Strokes are better. Uh, I guess Disdainful Stroke would counter a Krasis. Negate counters Find. I guess that's the only difference. I guess Chupacabra is another card Disdainful Stroke to counter. Yep, this is life. Yeah, Vivian would get countered by either one. You know, so choosing Negator or Disdainful Stroke doesn't matter against Vivian, for example. So next turn I just activate Incubation Druid. And then the following turn after that, play a huge Hydroid Crisis. Yeah, I can already do Crisis for six next turn. Hey, Robbie. Hope they don't have cast down. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, so four, five, six. And I want to do this, of course, before Druid leaves. I know they can just contempt the graces, but we get to draw three. That's like the, the best our deck can do. Turn one land war off, turn two, incubation druid, activate it. Wow. Are they not planning on contempting that? Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I would have had access to nine mana. It's debating how to use it. I think I was going to play play a new Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian and a Johnny and have a Johnny tick up on the Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian. So the Druid is going to be able to add three mana next turn and get a new Growth Chamber Guardian. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess disdainful strike's probably better than negate. As we were talking about. The only difference I I don't get to counter find. Um, but I get to counter Krasis, Chupacabra. If they have hostage taker. I don't get to counter a cast down either. But Johnny's not as good on the draw. Still want it. Maybe I just want Shalai instead of Disdainful Stroke. Hmm. Is that better? I'm going to go with the Disdainful Stroke. Hmm. A little slower. You know, really want the, our eight mana creatures right away. Yeah, land wear off on the play is is tough to beat without a mana creature. All right, there we go. That's a good draw. Uh, let's get the breeding pool into play. All right, we got the druid. They are keeping contempt again. So we'll try to try to save the Vivian. Yeah, you know, we don't want our Vivian contempted. Jundasaur, that deck looks pretty cool. Got to get that fourth Jade Light Ranger in there, though. Midnight Reaper. Um... Show me your kitties with a sub. Welcome to the stream. Just need to stabilize. Thanks for the sub. Now you get the Hawkeye emotes. That is our first subscriber of the day. We're down to uh, 39. Hey, no torque. Glad you're joining the streams. I say, any advice for a new player started about two weeks ago? I'm running into situations where my budget decks are simply getting out-muscled. This makes grinding for gold and packs very difficult. Any advice? I got completely stomped and constructed. Never drafted before. What do I do? Um, I, yeah. yeah. I know you said you never drafted before, but it... It takes, drafting costs a lot of money, you know, like you have to kind of spend, um, yeah, you, you have to spend money on, on drafts and everything. Uh, if you want to, if you want to go that route, like, um, 
Do I want a big crisis or an ooze? Next turn we can have six mana, draw two, gain two. Yeah, it's just jellyfish. Um, or yeah, or you can do the, the gold entry, of course. Um, but uh, besides that, um, yeah, grinding like you know on the free account, grinding for gold is tough, especially for a new player. It it is. Um, I'd kind of like look towards like the you know the uh, mono color aggro decks, um, like mono red, for example. And, uh, or, um, I guess another option is, is it Drake's? But that, that deck's not as good, best of one. And kind of work towards building that deck, honestly. it's I know it's the most played deck in the best of one queues, but I think it's the, the best option for for a new player uh, building, uh, building it. And, of course... You can, you know, play in, like, the, the free-to-play queues, of course, a, a lot to practice. Um, also, so you're not just using gold all the time. Wow. I was not prepared for a news. I can, I can say I was not prepared here for a news from my opponent. Now I really wish I would have taken news. I guess they have contempt, though. Ooze is not very common in, in the Soul Tide decks, is it? It's not a card that... It's going to be a card that's going to be tough for me to beat while I'm behind, like this. Oh, it's just lethal. I just set myself up for lethal. I knew about that Contempt and everything. Dang. Um, is there any deck that has a favorable matchup against the Golgari shell? Um, I think there will be, and like, I was, like there's a question we just answered earlier, but I'll go ahead and answer it again. Um, I do think that the the band, I think I do think the band colors, um, have um higher upside than the soul tie colors, but I don't think that. Um, it still takes takes time to, to tune it and everything. Like, I, I don't think the mind deck's there quite yet. Um, anyway, um, besides that, like, so control decks are usually kind of good, um, but, like, I really, I've really i been really really liking uh, Mardu Control. We played that yesterday. Had a... did really good against the... Um, we did real good against the Golgari decks, and I don't play a whole lot of Izzet Drakes, but most everybody says that Izzet Drakes has a real good Golgari matchup. Yeah, and then of course Takali Honor Guard. Yeah, I'm I'm not too impressed with these Growth Chamber Guardians. I'm thinking we need to switch these out. They weren't good. That last match, like they they died to finality. If they're taking incubation druid over growth chamber guardian, do not fear seeing yourself what I see in you. I don't think you can get this land war off by redeeming. It was a holiday promo. Uh, from around or from around Christmas this last year. So we're playing against the Esper 
hero deck. And they have turn 2 hero, turn 3 deputy. So that's, that's certainly good for them. Um, before the Bant Nexus deck was favored against Golgari, the Golgari Shell, uh, I'm not sure how much that chain changes with adding blue to the deck. Yeah, going going mono red is is a good choice. Absolutely, um, I would go to like mtggoldfish.com. And check out like their arena deck lists, which I am clicking over to right now, and kind of looking at some of the, the mono red aggro decks over there. I'm not sure if Risk Factor is is better than Ex Experimental Frenzy. I just I I honestly just I'm not sure. Really, just want to use. Why would you want to use both green sources deck? How does that even make sense? That you want to auto tap the two green sources when I have a green card in my hand. Be strong. Big elves. Um, attack. Yeah, I also, I just don't know which one's better for, for best of one also with Risk Factor and Frenzy. Uh, Delio there says ri Risk Factor is a little easier to play than Frenzy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's, there's one that's necessarily better for best of one or not. Uh, it's kind of awkward. Seraph of the Scales matches up so well against Vivian. Let's tear this place apart. Feel the wrath of Scala. Strength is born of struggle. I still went with Vivian minus there, because if they if they just have their two tokens attack Vivian to kill Vivian, um, then then a Johnny like ultimates like they have to worry about a Johnny right now also along with Vivian. Okay, so they're just attacking a Johnny. So we do get to tick up Vivian, so that's, that's awesome. That's exactly what I want. And we're looking for Biogenic Ooze or Hydroid Crisis. Uh, Bugler gives us our best chance of finding one of those. Stop using both of my green sources, deck. What is up with this auto-tap today? Capable of more than you assume. <laughs> At least that takes a removal spell out of their hand for, um, An option. If we Not do find Biogenic Ooze or Hydrocrasis. All right, they they got their Seraph the scales tapped. Let's attack. Look how far you have come. 
Uh, certainly declining. We saw like our last militia bugler put cards we didn't want down at the bottom of the library. So, I'm not really giving my information, or sorry, I'm not giving my opponent more information about what our turn's going to look like before they make their blocking decisions and everything. All right, Krasis or Ooze. Uh, Krasis would be one, two, three, four, five. Would be a, a five, five Krasis next turn. Uh, if we draw a land, six, six. So that's three cards. Or Biogenic Ooze just keeps getting really big. I think I'm gonna take the Krasis though. I think it's just a, a five right now, right? No, it's counting the elf. See, like two two mana and then four plus one is five. Right now. <laughs> All good. Hey, Abigail, going pretty good. Going pretty good. We have a, a pretty good, interesting game here. Till our paths cross again. Well, I can't beat Lear, Lear Dawnbringer. All right, so I know I have a Vivian towards the bottom. We just saw a Vivian in that last Bugler. So I'm going to activate this Growth Chamber Guardian first. And obviously, why? Why are you tapping all these green sources? Shuffle that Vivian back. Rewarded. I look My forward to seeing your joy mistakes. To me and others. I think we're dead, though. Yeah, we're just dead. We, c yeah, we're dead. Okay. Um, now they have Mortify. Yeah, me not playing any sweepers at all is bad. So we need to get some settles in the stack. Uh, I'm thinking that I should be moving away from Biogenic Ooze and a Johnny. Uh, I like the. The Krasis Bugler stuff kind of still, but maybe you don't even need Bugler. Hmm. But yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian. Growth Chamber Guardian. Uh, basically, this top, this top row has not been very impressive. And I, I need Settle the Wreckages. This would be another good matchup for Settle. Uh, certainly going to be Disdainful Stroking stuff. Uh, I want to counter Seraph of the Scales and Lyra Dombringer. Let's have our own Shalai and Lyra Dawnbringer. And for bringing in those, I'm going to cut the uh, Johnnies. And uh, I don't think I really want Binding or Seal Away because of um, Mortify. But, I mean, Mortify just kills creatures and stuff too. Maybe it's not that big a deal. Don't think I can just cut my growth chamber guardians, even though I, I don't really want them. But I don't know if I can just have all five mana stuff. Can I do that? Can I just have all five mana stuff? It's a little risky. Hmm. 
Nah, it's, it'll be fine. Is anybody else is anybody else seeing lag during the game? Besides Zinzin? Zin? Riddle DNT with a sub. Hey Riddle, welcome to the channel. All right, 38 to go. And Kenonono, thank you so much for that sub as well. All right, our five card hand is getting taken apart a little bit. Looks like it still says 38 for now, so I'll keep it there. Our opponent knows our hand, so like, no reason for me to be like, uh, hiding anything. Well, this hand didn't work out. Yeah, and Demir discard is is really good when against uh really good against five cards. That's for sure. There we go. All right, no removal spell. No removal. All right, so we, we certainly have holes in the deck. Um, certainly have holes. I don't have, like Hostage Shaker is just a, a wonderful card against me. Uh, I don't have anything to deal with hostage taker in the deck um or like the other creatures um especially host like i've seen sultai decks playing hostage taker too if hostage taker becomes you know if more people are playing hostage taker that's just um you know we can't we can't have like no interaction uh with hostage takers like i have like two bindings over there in the sideboard like that's it um so yeah so we have the disdainful strokes that could have countered them, but you know, we uh, we obviously saw how that went uh, with the five cards. So, um, yeah, so we need some settles, need some hostage takers. Basically, just need more interaction. I think that uh, this this top row just isn't isn't getting it done. Um, so that that's good good to know. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe militia bugler is just not really where I want to be uh, with this. Yeah. Just, I think we can move away from Militia Bugler. So, so good to learn, good to learn. Um, I know this is like the other uh, band deck I was playing a little bit, uh, trying out also. I think I'd, I think that this is just a, a stronger shell to kind of move on from. Uh, those other cards weren't weren't helping us too much. Um, so like Growth Spiral, so we can get just even more mana early because we just we just want to to gain more more mana early and then obviously Teferi is just an amazing card and Frilled Mystic countering stuff. I think I think I'm more interested in going towards this Bant list a whole lot more than uh, the Bugler one um, and tuning this one. Um, so but I, I so I'm playing Seal Away over Baffling End in the other deck and I like Seal Away more because of Drake's. Um, I want to be able to I want to be able to exile Crackling Drake. Uh, that that was my thinking with with that, and so I, I was going with Seal Away uh, instead. 
All right, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, there we go. That's my conclusions there for Bant value. Looks like maybe moving away from it and kind of going towards uh, Bant midrange here. But that's, uh, you know, that's kind of the stuff we have to figure out whenever we're early in the format like this. So um, even though we went one two is good informative league. So there we go. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you for the next video.